Marie Curie kept radioactive uranium in her cabinet, not knowing what was coming for her. Sacrifices for science that lit up the world. Paris, 1898. In a cold Sorbonne shed, Marie and Pierre Curie were processing eight tons of uranium ore by hand, using pots and pans, working among harsh acid fumes. They lived right in the lab, eating bread and milk. After months of work, they got 0.1 grams of a new element, polonium, and then radium. At night, their test tubes glowed green, and Marie said, it's like a star has fallen into our hands. No one knew that this glow was killing them from the inside. She kept vials of radium in her desk drawers and sometimes carried them in her lab coat pockets as a lucky charm. Her hands were covered in sores, her hair fell out, but she never stopped her experiments. Did she know about radioactive targeting in the body? Curie believed a researcher should have just one passion and believed that discoveries belong to humanity. In 1903, the Swedish Academy wanted only Pierre the Nobel Prize. He turned it down without her name. This isn't just my discovery, it's ours. That's how Marie became the first female winner. In 1911, she got her second Nobel, this time in chemistry. Back then, the newspapers called her the family breaker because of her affair with married scientist Paul Langevin. Mobs stormed her house. She wrote to Latomp, Science has no gender and the atom doesn't care about morals. In 1914, during World War I, Marie created 20 mobile X-ray labs, her little curies. She went to the front lines herself, teaching doctors and doing diagnostics. These machines saved over a million soldiers. When they told her to evacuate, she said, I'm needed here where the real blood is.